Welcome back to TV5 News at 9, everyone. This weekend, Saginaw Bay Symphony Orchestra will be performing Beethoven's first. So joining us this morning, just to tell us all about it, we have Maestro Fuad Fakori, familiar guest, of course, and then also the executive director, Cameron Massey. So thank you both for being here this morning. Thank you for having us. Thank Absolutely. You, all right, so we got an upcoming performance. It's actually at SVSU's Malcolm Fields Theater. We know that you're usually set at the temple, the temple theater. So why change it? What's so unique about this new venue? So we really have always wanted to reach out beyond uh, our regular performance venue, the temple theater. And part of our mission is to really be, uh, you know, Bay City and the regional yeah. uh, in general. So this was an opportunity to go somewhere else and perform to a new audience and be in a new venue. That's okay. why. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. As executive director, what is this performance and what does it look like? What are we talking about? Beethoven's first. What's so special about that? Oh, we've got some incredible pieces here uh, for this performance. And they were all selected by our wonderful music director, Maestro Fukuri, here. Uh, but we'll be performing Beethoven's first symphony. Uh, we have Haydn's trumpet concerto, which will be performed by George Goad. He's uh, joining us. He's a trumpet virtuoso. He's played with a lot of the uh, incredible symphony orchestras throughout the entire world. Um, but uh, most recently, he's been accepted to the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra, and he's going to be coming to play for us in Michigan. He's a Michigan native, so yeah, cool. bringing him back to Michigan for this concert really is meaningful for us. We also have uh, two Rossini pieces in the program. Uh, we have the Pasta Six um, from the Guillaume Tell, um, and then we also have uh, the, um, that is the... Italian in Algiers, the Overture. Yes, it's, it's in Italian. The name is in Italian. It's La Italiana in Algeria. Okay. It's a, yeah, uh, but it's a wonderful piece. Very excited to play that one. We also have a contemporary piece in this program, Philip Glass's Company. Um, I think Maestro has selected some incredible pieces of music here. And uh, for this being the first time that we've played at SVSU in 20 years, mm. you know, what a wonderful comeback uh, to bring a native Saginaw, a native Michigan musician back to Michigan to showcase in our program. Yeah. Is it? typical to have like since you said he this is just me wondering <laughs> like uh, joining the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra mm -hmm. is it normal to like bring in guests from other orchestras so he you know he's a professional trumpet player and he's performed with different orchestras but his main job now he was at the Kansas City Symphony Orchestra and recently just won a position with the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra okay similar to what you guys do so he moved from one area to the next but we're featuring him as a soloist mm. So when he's performing with the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra, he's a member of that orchestra. But when he's coming here, he's going to be a soloist featured with us. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that Absolutely. distinction. Yeah. Yeah, of course. All right. Other guests, too, community artists as guests this uh, season. So what are some of the others performing, and why did you choose to feature that local talent? So this season, really, I wanted to focus our entire season on local talent and people from Saginaw in the region. So uh, for this concert, we have Michael Goad, uh, sorry, George Goad is performing with us for this particular concert. The next concert, we have uh, different people from the community. Art Lewis is gonna be narrating a piece. And then in, cool. in, for the Christmas concert, we have other people as well. So really, we're, the focus is utilizing members, great members from our community that are really talented to perform with us. Absolutely, yeah. Art Lewis, legend, thank you. Yeah. All right, very cool. So um, where can people get tickets? And uh, there's a time change for this concert. Mm -hmm. What is that all about? Absolutely, so uh, we've, we've seen a lot of feedback from our audiences and uh, from community community members um, that said that they would like, uh, they would feel the concerts would be more accessible even just half an hour earlier. Mm. And we've seen studies from across the country. Um, so moving the concerts to 7.30 p.m. Um, rather than 8 p.m. That can be the difference between nightfall when you get out um, and not nightfall. It can right. be the difference between children going to bed at 11 p.m. or 10 p.m. when they get out of our concerts. So our hope is that this makes our concerts more accessible to the community and can bring more people, especially younger student crowd, to our concerts without impeding on their, their daily lives so much. Yeah. Um, so that was the, the goal for the, the 7.30 time change. And the tickets? Uh, the tickets can be purchased at SaginawBayOrchestra.com. We have uh, a ticket link right on the front page. If you, you know, say get tickets to the concert, it's on the front page there. And that'll take you right to the eTix page where you can buy them online, at which point the tickets are emailed right to your email inbox. Perfect. Easy enough. Anything else you guys want to add about the performance this weekend? I would just encourage people to come and attend. This is a great performance at a different venue. So if you want to see the Saginaw Bay Symphony Orchestra perform in a different venue other than the temple, in a different light, more intimate environment, this is the concert for you. 
Very good. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. It's it's we really do it all for the community. Um, all of the music and the art that we create is for our community here in Saginaw. They sustain us, and so everything we do is for them. Student tickets for all of our concerts for any student of any school anywhere is only twelve dollars. Okay. Um, so, I, yeah. Perfect. Appreciate you both coming in this morning to share this with us. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. And you can get the information about tickets and and the concert and performances through the hot link section on our website, WNEM.com.